inappropriate comment, one touch, and an innocent caress between colleagues, you know? And it begins again, the slow descent down. Your ratings come down a bit. The groupies, they start to get older and chunkier and have that weird fat girl smell. You appear in commercials for worse and worse cars and suddenly you're not the spokesperson for an expensive Swiss watch, but for some swingers resort in Guatemala or a war zone. You're on the way down, so you get desperate. You, you do more and more insane things for ratings. You don't care, but it's no good. The public doesn't love you anymore. Nobody loves you. There's a, a great hole of lovelessness inside you. You're just a shell. Nobody cares. Your, your friends are more successful than you. They, they won't call you back. They, they don't even re-bleach you anymore. Your, your life invader friends start to go down. The, the private members' clubs tell you that you're no longer welcome because you tried to speak to a movie star there. Well, I was a star once, okay? I was, but it's no good. It just, just, it just, it keeps going down. It's okay. It just keeps My going. Giant. It's not okay. Your producer calls you up. Someone made up some pictures that, that seem to show you, you know, being spanked in a problem. That's not true. They could put my head on any dude's body. I'm much bigger than that. It's computers. There weren't any cameras in there. You know, it's, and then they start calling you a misogynist in the press and a bleeder. You know, it's not true. Laszlo loves women. I love women. They call me gay, and that's not true. Laszlo's a man. He has a man's needs. Uh, only it, it, st it still keeps coming. The, the great wall of shame and the self-loathing is just flows on and on like you're on the ground and there's just a group of men urinating on you, but it, it's a hypothetical urination. Then one day your producer comes in and says, Laszlo, even though you've been a syndicate radio host for a long time and even though you're great, now you're gonna, you're gonna be the co-host. The assistant to the host. Shut up, okay? You won. You're perky. You're young. You look great, and I'm the assistant to the host of a woman with literally nothing to say. I get it. You did a mountain of blow in the 90s. Blow all over your nose for many years. You don't have a catchphrase. I don't need one, and nobody gives a shit. I was big in the 90s. I, was, I remember dot com, and we used to program computers like C colon forward slash and HTTP forward 10 print hello 20 go to 10. The great terror of time something we cover in our study program, my child. <laughs> Just leave me alone, all of you. There, there. Sometimes in the valley, we can see the mountain through the clouds. That's what makes us its children. <laughs> I don't understand valleys or clouds. It sounds like a nursery. Oh, you take a minute, Laszlo. Man, listen, anyone saying the male menopause is a myth, just remember this moment, please. It's very simple. You just work through a very cost-effective program and achieve limitless joy. That sounds wonderful. Laszlo, stop crying. I... I'm not crying. Well, thank you, Brother Adrian. Your seminars seem very interesting. Yes, sir. But I think we've run out of time on Chattersphere. I love you, Michelle. Oh. This has been the Chattersphere with Michelle and Laszlo. It's MMA. Don't miss the upcoming match of Brazil's Luz Cardoso versus Vice Beach's Troy B. English, the other are foreign. It's the Noble Easter with a kidney punch while you're both wearing swimming trunks. MMA. It's a combination of skills, guts, wit, and the psychotic desire to give someone.